Alrighty, we are ready to go with Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Reignited Bone Dance. <laughs> Let's take it away. Hello, how are you going? Hey, doing alright. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the last two runs of the day. This is actually technically the same game, uh, but it's two parts of the same game. This is Spyro Night Killing Me, uh, and with me here are good friends, Dastily. Hello, hello. Uh, a very, very uh, old, I should say. Old. Boomer, boomer, boomer <laughs> speedrun. Accomplished. <laughs> the original game. That's um, right. He doesn't play this, so there's going to be a lot of really cool uh, knowledge that he'll have, that I won't have. I'm going to have, obviously, a lot of knowledge from this. Um, we've got two runs coming up, we've got this one which is Spyro 2 and then after that we'll have Spyro 3. If you saw Dax's run yesterday, you'll see a very big comparison between the two. But I think we should get stuck into Spyro 2. We'll get going in 3, 2, 1, go. Good luck. Alright, so this is Spyro 2, Retro's Rage. We're doing Bone Dance today, it's a little uh, short category, it's about 20 minutes long. It's a very fun one, we don't need, we don't need any of these cutscenes. So the yeah. first place we're going to be going to is going to be Glimmer. Um, unlike Spyro 1 and 3, the uh, Spyro 2 actually puts you it straight into Glimmer. We're going to skip this guy's uh, text box. I don't like talking to people. I'm a very empty so of right today. We're going to get a few gems because it's going to be very, very, very important. And we've got uh, a very cool glitch here called uh, Thought Jump, which allows us to skip paying money bags here, 100 gems to uh, get this bridge up. I'm playing the game on 30 FPS. Right now, uh, the lower your frame rate is, the higher far it jumps, so I can just hover right up there. It's called a perfect hover. Uh, if, you hang, if you time your jump, uh, if you glide and then you'll hover perfectly, you can actually gain a little bit of height on there. You'll see that a lot in this game and Spyro 3 as well. That's, that's one huge difference from the PS1 game, actually. Like, the, the hover in this is so much better. Like, you can just, like, jump and hover immediately. The hover and this is fantastic. Yeah. There's, there's, like, a few places that you should not be able to get to, and you can get to with yeah. the perfect hover. So, Clock, what the heck is bone dance? Um, why why is this a thing? There's there's bones and they <laughs> dance. Uh, no, this is basically any percent of the first homeworld, and I'm gonna go to the second homeworld. Yeah. I don't want to talk to Alora. Uh, I didn't jump far enough there to skip the trigger, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that we're gonna pretty much be any percenting our way through this first homeworld, getting to the second homeworld, going straight into a certain level, and then doing a little mini game. Mm. Um, and you'll see why it's called Bone Dance in a sense. Yeah, Bone Dance kind of originated as a just like a, a little like a meme thing, I think, for Halloween one year in the PS1 yeah. community, and, and like it so people liked it, and so they kept running it in both this and in Spyro 3. It's actually really yeah. fun. Um, but welcome to Iron Springs. This level is really interesting because one we have to uh, bring these guys um, and. Uh, so they can open the doors for me, but also I'm going to be collecting a bunch of fodder in this game. Uh, you can see these little bugs that I'm killing here. Uh, there's a little dragonfly following me named Spark, and he's basically my top counter. Um, if he's ever injured, I can pick up one of those fodder, which will drop a dragonfly, which uh, will heal him up a little bit. But if you get 10 fodder, uh, you actually get a life, and I'm going to be using that to uh, get a life in a very specific, uh, very specific time in this run. In the, the, well, the boss fight, not one of the boss fights in this run. And I'm gonna, that's actually the last one I'm gonna get in this level. I'm gonna get five all in this level. I'm gonna try and skip Zoe again. Nah, that was close. That's fine. We got that guy. And because these guys take a long time to open up these doors, I get a lot of time to get a bunch of gems. I'm going to want 400 gems by, uh, by near the end of this homeworld. And you'll see that I'm getting the intelligence here as well. Uh, Basically, progression in this game uh, is there's 14 different talismans throughout the throughout two homeworlds that you get, and then there's 40 orbs that you need to get to the end of the uh, to get to the final boss. We're only going to be getting uh, a few of these talismans, the ones that we absolutely need to get to the second homeworld, and then we won't see any more talismans. We'll see one orb. Mm. That'll be the bone dance. It will yeah. be the bone dance. <laughs> We're going to get some more gems here. It's a nice 25 gem. I really like that one. I'm going to try and go for the high value gems. Uh, the gems are colored to, uh, based on their value. So red is one, green is two, blue, purple, blue, purple is five. Is Spyro blue? Uh, no. <laughs> that, that's that settled. That, that's, that's not they, they, To be that fair, is not it, they do that look a lot more blue. purple in Reignite. That is I will give blue. you that. They, that is not blue. they do look a lot more purple in the Reignite. Purple gems are five, yellow gems are uh, ten, and the magenta gems are uh, twenty-five. Alright, so we're going to come up here. Normally you have to talk to these guys, so it's not the door. You have to go around, it's kind of long. I'm just going to do a hover right up here. I'm going to do something called a wall glide here to maintain my height and just get up there. 
Yeah, you're definitely not supposed to be able to jump that high. You're, like, you're supposed yeah. to be here, like, after you finish the level. <laughs> I'll just come right here to the end of the level. Uh, what looks yeah. like a boss fight? This is the end of the boss fight. What? GG. So hard. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> There's gonna be a few safety jumps, Joe. Okay, they're actually quite good. I think there's a 10, I think there's a 5 behind that statue. Sorry, uh, no, there was no time to feature thing. I'm actually gonna use my guidebook here to go back to the home world. Um, we're gonna go back to the Glimmer portal. So, Xing a level, uh, sorry, uh, starting the game or using your guidebook, uh, we'll actually put you back at the start of level. And we're gonna use this for something called the wrong walk. Uh, normally, you'll get 500 gems to unlock the swim ability to get to the rest of the home world. That's fine, I miss it. What I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and uh, get into this portal. I'm gonna pause on the first frame that I touch it, and I'm gonna exit the level. The game's gonna get really confused, and you'll see a few really weird visual bugs happen, uh, and hopefully it will teleport me to the end of the home world, uh, to actually to Ocean Speedway. Um, there is a chance, depending on how PCs load the game, um, there we go, exit the game. You might see Spire on his back, depending on how yeah. uh, the PC loads this game. <laughs> He's having a little sleep. This oh, there it is. is. Good so morning, Spyro. Seriously, the game's like really confused as to what it's doing. Hopefully, we'll get into. Uh, hopefully, we'll come out of the Ocean Speedway portal and then we can uh, finish the rest of the home world. Otherwise, we can just go for it again. Sometimes it doesn't work. We don't exactly know why. We believe it depends on how your PC loads the level and how fast it can do that. There we go. That is so strange. It is so weird. I love the wrong world, though. So yeah, he's, he's still in the same level, like he's still in Summer yeah, Forest, but he's just in a different part of the... If you the, remember that lake uh, that we were swimming, uh, we were jumping over earlier, um, I'm on the other side of that, basically. Yeah. Throughout the so it's skipped buying swim, effectively. Yeah, yeah Pyro Coast, we're going to do some more shenanigans with hovering. Uh, basically, with wall glides here, if you... Uh, this Pyro is on a, like, curved surface. Oh, uh, I think I'm hovering too early. Oh. Okay, I'll just do the baby route, fine. As far as hovering, uh, sorry, Tro is on a curved surface, you can actually maintain, uh, or sometimes even gain height. There we go. Yeah, there's, there's so many, like, little bits of, ter uh, like, terrain and scenery and stuff that you can just stand on briefly and uh, get jumped on. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm gonna wait for that cycle there. We're gonna, we're gonna use this thing to go through out of bounds. Hey. Don't know why that's not solid, but hey, I'm gonna do some. Thanks. There we go. We're gonna get this talisman, and we'll get out of here. You also see I'm using the menu instead of going through the portal. It's much faster. Um, the menu also remembers where you last were. So if I'm on exit level, uh, every time I go to pause in another level, I will also be on exit level. So it's literally just pause, X, up, X, and yeah. another level. You Sometimes you can see me do this wickedly fast. It's a lot of fun. All right, so the next one will be Sunny Beach. We're going to do some out-of-bounds shenanigans, which is going to be really fun. I like the out-of-bounds in this game. <laughs> Right, how's that gem count looking? 366. We are doing really well. Good. All right. So, so normally what you'll do is you normally you use swim in this level. We're just gonna pop up here. We're just gonna go around. I don't need the gems that are around there. There we go. There's 20 gems. We are perfect gem count. We're gonna use this turtle here for Franklin. Well, I'm holding Franklin at least. I'm gonna try and get him into a position where he's gonna push me through the wall. I'm gonna get to a specific spot right here. Hopefully, Franklin cooperates. No. Oh, no, fuck it out. Squeeze. Yeah. The squeeze is fun. You can get some funny high with that. There we hey. go. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm gonna try and maneuver out of bounds in a very specific way. If I don't, I can actually. Uh, whoop. There we go. If I actually maneuver the wrong way, I can get pushed into a sort of like a soft block area. Okay, sort of attack. There actually is a faster straight where you can go out of bounds, like up, up through that wall there. Uh, that's kind of hard. God, these moves so slowly. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright though, we're good. Yeah, we reach King Promise. There we go. Alright, we've got one more level in uh, in this home world. Yep, Aquaria so this Towers. Is why I need, yeah, this is why I needed gems. I need 400 gems to unlock Aquaria Towers, and we're currently on like three. Well, I. Over the gems. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Those two tens really helps. So we're gonna go talk to money bags. And we're gonna unlock it. This is the only time we're actually gonna talk to money bags. Normally you have to talk to them like three or four times in this home world. You just say ah, say ah. He should be a doctor. Just got a couple of fodder. We'll prepare that for uh, crush. Now, if you remember earlier, I said we don't have the swim ability. 
Yeah, you might struggle getting through this level without swim. It's kind of designed for it. It's fine. It's fine. Let's swim. Yeah, that's pretty fine. Funny thing is, I actually can't charge. I can only paddle through there, so we're going to yeah. uh, charge across here. Now, this game's built on the original uh, trilogy geometry, so right now I'm standing on that number four, uh, or where it would be in the original game. We can use that just to hold up here. We're done with this entire level. <laughs> I do find it funny how we completely skip swim and we still can swim. Yeah, I mean, it's the same ah. even on, on the PS1 version. Yeah. If you're put into a, swim, put into a swim state, state it yeah. doesn't matter if you actually have the ability to dive or not. Yeah, it's a good, yeah. It's, it's a good way to sort of like make sure you can still at least do something. Yeah, you don't get you're stuck. stuck. Yeah, or the running underwater would be pretty fun. All right, it's time for the one and only boss in this run, Crush. What? Crush is going to be pretty comfy. He's pretty easy. You can also see a bunch of particles from the um, from the wrong wolf that we did. You okay. see like a bunch of like little particles, like when you're gliding in oh, the. I didn't. The yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, you can see That's them cool. sometimes. Yeah, so this fight is very scripted. It's gonna be basically the same every time. Yeah, I'm just literally just going to damage this every single uh, yeah. hit, and I'm also gonna get into this area here, drop a number of sheep. I think I want two. I want three ideally. Um, two is workable. I think I'm on seven. Order at the moment. There's only one more that drops down. Oh, yeah, hey, wow. Five <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So we'll be perfect. We'll be perfect here. Alright, we'll bring the sheep there as well. We'll just get a few more damage at the end of this. And then we'll be on to the fun part of this game. The actual bone damage. There's another one. So the next one should give me a life. I think my count's correct. I think I'm on nine right now. And you get the life in this game. Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm dead! Oh. <laughs> I got a little bit too close. Oh, I got coffee. Oh, fine. We'll do it again. But you guys know the drill, so you can already, if you have a quick message for the people here. And here. <laughs> Yeah, yep. Uh, we do have a $50 from Anonymous that doesn't have any comments, but just as a reminder, we have raised over $4,000 for this event so far, which is fantastic. Still do have about $900, $850 uh, of that donation matching uh, from Bear with a Shotgun, so any and all donations will be matched to dollar for dollar until the total 3,000 mark from Bear with a Shotgun, raising about 6,000 all up for this event. Honestly, it's a long haul, but we've got a lot of fire coming up. I would love to see that 6,000 It would be fantastic if we I could in this next hour and a bit. I think, I think Bear with a Shotgun will also be happy. And you can also see I that one earlier as well. No. So I, my, my count is good for that what was the last thing you were getting there? What's your gameplay? Yeah. <laughs> I can count better than I can play this video game. <laughs> it's alright. You can get by the hammer, but for that last thing, you can just stand on the rock. Yeah, the, the rocks don't hurt you on the last thing. Alright, so that's crushed down. We've got one more level left. And then after this run, uh, I don't think we'll be doing an intermission, last I heard. I think we'll just be going straight into Spyro 3, unless Tech wants a small intermission. Yeah, going straight into Kilos Badlands here. This is the, the level that has the, the Bone Dance Orb, which yeah. is the one that is kind of the goal of this category. Yeah. Um, we need to collect a bunch of uh, bones from these lizards that are scattered around the place. Exactly. I'm gonna grab this uh, rock right here. This the first one up on that big skull right over there in the distance. Should be able to throw it from here. Go. Oh. Nice. That's really fun to do. Yeah, <laughs> catch it out of the air. Yep. Next one's over here. Third one. Normally you uh, kill a bunch of enemies and get a bunch of souls, and that allows you to get a power up. In this case, it's invincibility power up. I don't need it. Oh. That glide did not come out. That's fine. Number four, there's a little bit of uh, wall there we have to damage. There's one. There's two, and then I'll follow it up with a charge. Burn. Number five, this is where the interesting part oh. starts. Bad timing. Oh no. I heard him as soon as I heard him, there was nothing I could do. 
subscribe. Oh, that saved all of the boats. Yes, no, it's just like Alright, right, number five, I'm gonna jump on this rock right here. Oops. My gameplay is going down the drain. <laughs> it's a crush. I'm gonna hop on this little rock right here and get pushed off by that one above, which is really painful. There we go. Five, six is just up here. Oh. Skelos is rough. It's, it's, rough. it's a punishing level. It really is. Even in just like regular runs, like 100% yeah. or something. <laughs> it's fine. There's a lot of stuff it's that can damage like you. Two. Normally it doesn't. Thankful for that. I'm not going to play. Alright. Oh. So that's what I mean. You can fall off that very easily. There we go. Alright. We'll climb back up. That's fine. Oh my god. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see him right. Nah. Alright, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna look just, for him. Yeah. I've never just go up. Don't go all the way around, right? You can just go up the, the, the boat, can't you? Do you have to go this way? I'm going up the boat. What do you mean? No, I mean, I, I just don't know why you're going up to this ledge when you already have the boat here. It's faster. Is oh, it? Oh, no, because I have to call. Oh, oh, wait, no, because I can just go to the ledge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, I, sorry, all I know is the run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean now. Alright, there's number six. Number seven is coming up. Number seven That's is a really cool platforming on the it's really terrain fun. there, yeah. It's hard because, like, one of them, uh, one of those areas, one of those polygons can actually get stuck on. There's number seven. Number eight is coming up, and we. Time is coming up when I get the bone. We get to see the dance, yeah. and then time comes. You get to watch the extremely non cringe dance that Toys for Bob put yeah. in this game. So get ready on time. It's probably coming up in like 10 20 seconds or so. Alright, yeah. watch the dance. We just really want to watch this cutscene, that's yeah. all it is. Beautiful, beautiful. I love a good plot. I love a time is... Yeah. Huh. Alright. Uh, 